So you've certainly gotten a lot of attention and press around this decision. How did it come together? So um, actually, my creative director came to me and said uh, that he wanted to do actually a head shop. Um, and after I after I took my head off the table and actually thought about the idea, it it was something that you know really made sense for us as an organization. I mean, there's a huge cultural shift and acceptance in terms of using cannabis for you know, wellness and, and other, you know, sort of lifestyle choices. And, you know, we want to be part of that narrative. Um, and in, in the end, it's also about us creating experiences within our stores. It's, you know, this is not retail anymore. This is about creating, you know, and, and reflecting lifestyle choices of our customers. And in the end, Los Angeles, after, you know, obviously legalization, you know, our customers were asking for these types of products. Um, and so it made sense for us to do it in a very Barney's way and not do it in a sort of traditional head shop way, um, but offer products that really reflect, you know, the, the sensibility of the store. Um, and, you know, that's how it all began. Um, what do you know about the demographic of the typical cannabis user, however it may be? Are they usually of a, of, a, of a space in terms of the, the, uh, the monetary spectrum where they can afford to buy these kinds I mean, of things? It is, it is our customer. It is someone, the customer who is already engaged with us in terms of the product and sort of our, our um, uh, analysis before we went into the business. It is very much the demographic. Are those bongs I'm looking our... at there? Do you actually? No, no. Do you actually no, sell? You sell. We do sell bongs. You do. We oh, are okay. selling bongs, um, and they're. I mean, they're beautiful, decorative, also objects. They're, yeah, all I of mean, these things are beautiful. I think they're, they're pipes, thousand so. dollar glass blown pipes, right? Yeah. Yes, by one of our artisans that's been in the store for ten years. So what's interesting also about this project is we actually had so many of our brands and designers and artisans want to engage and do do products with us. Um, so we actually had to really, we wanted it to be very curated and very edited, so we had to level set it a little bit, but the enthusiasm for the project has been overwhelming. Um, and it's nice to be able to, you know, have designers and brands that are in the store that are maybe doing one type of product to evolve into something like this. I could think of a lot of people I could get gifts for now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. You have to go to Beverly Hills. I mean, that's I one know. of the issues, Danielle. Obviously, recreational use is permitted in California, right. but federal government, it's still illegal in this country. Did that give you any sort of pause I mean, or give qualms about that? It certainly gave us pause, and we made sure that we, you know, stayed within the guidelines, and obviously we are not selling it at this point anywhere outside of California. Um, but remember, we're not selling cannabis also. So any t cannabis product that is sold is being sold through Bebo. Um, and most of what we are selling are the accessories that, that complement the experience of Bebo. So, you know, we can actually sell these accessories in other locations, and we do intend to. Um, I mean, obviously, we'll follow legislation, and when it does become legal in certain other states, it will be very much a part of the retail experience. These are very, these are very sorry to interrupt. No. These are very high price points as we watch them go go by here. I mean, are you, you, are you Barney's, seeing? David? Are you, I have <laughs> been to Bar. Actually, I have. It's one of the few stores there's I have a been range, to. There's a range of price points, I would say. Yeah. Of course, we're showing you the things that are the most special, but there's a range of price points. And that also reflects the demographic of our customer as well. Right. Um, you know, we don't label these. I mean, I think everyone labels everything sort of luxury, but at the end of the day, it is about a range. Of, of a range of products and ha what the individual perceives as luxury. Um, How's it that, going so far? It's been fantastic. I mean, on, I'm sure everyone gets up here and says all of their projects are fantastic. Usually. But this, yeah. <laughs> this, this actually happens to be the case. Um, it has been not only the engagement in terms of the brand and in terms of, you know, interaction with our consumer, but the sales have been spectacular out of Beverly Hills and it'll also launch in, online in the next couple of weeks behind a, a gated, of course, experience. I mean, we've been covering the decline of American department stores for a long time now and doing poorly, even in this kind of better consumer environment, dealing with traffic issues and competition with online and, and brands. Barney's is private, so we don't really have a sense of how you guys have navigated some of these troubles. How's it been doing? I mean, I think we've done better than most because of projects like this. We are not, I mean, if you're going to think about retail in this traditional format, um, it's not going to work. If you're thinking about retail as entertainment, as media, as wellness, 
even food. We're in all of those businesses now, and we consider ourselves in a very different type of, you know, it's not just about product anymore. It has to be more than that. And, you know, if you're not looking at it that way, then I don't see how it can sustain itself. Um, and these type of experiences that we're creating and environments, we want to be the venue for all of these things. So you'll see a lot more of these sort of, you know, installations and projects that are very different than what we've done in the past. What would be another example? So another example is, you know, we're very much, um, I mean, our food and beverage business is absolutely fantastic. Our restaurant business is amazing. So we're doing a lot of projects with designers and brands around food and wellness and um, that will take place in our restaurant. And again, that drives traffic to the physical stores. And for us, you know, the physical environment is also a place where, you know, we know that all of the social media that happens around the brand happens inside of our stores, right? So the more we create sort of entertainment and value there, the more we're going to attract a consumer to, to cross that threshold. Any uh, particularly strong selling items from the ones that we've seen here at, at the, we're not I mean, showing Devon it right Bay, now. But. I, the, I don't know if you showed Devon Bay, but the Devon Bay products have been fantastic, which is out of France, and just this exquisite, these exquisite paper products, those have been a huge success. Um, obviously, the Bebo piece of it has also been successful. I mean, not obviously run through us, but um, some of the hand-blown um, bongs have also sold. Uh, and again, these are incredible objects. So it's it's also about you know sometimes people just responding to the beauty of the of the piece. Yeah. I mean, I guess my only question is, you know, there's so little research long term on legalizing marijuana and and what what it's going to do to us as a society and health concerns. And, and I wonder just if you if you deal with that conflict at all. You're not selling cannabis, but it's an implicit promotion of the use of a drug? I mean, we certainly think about it, but I think the the way the research is moving and the way, you know, uh, the medical community is looking at it, that there are more positives and than once thought. Um, you know, we're going to be very careful about who we sell it to and make sure that it's obviously someone who's over 21 and, and can make those decisions for themselves. But you know, we also sell alcohol in our stores. And, uh, you know, we're, again, not selling cannabis, um, but it is, you know, something that obviously we're mindful of.